The Louvre Pyramid is a large glass and metal structure designed by the Chinese American architect. The pyramid is in the main courtyard surrounded by three smaller pyramids. The large pyramid serves as the main entrance to the Louvre Museum. Completed in 1988 as part of the Grand Louvre project, the Louvre Pyramid has become a landmark of the city of Paris. Greeks believed nudity was powerful, ideal, and beautiful. Greek art is known for depicting nudity, especially male nudes. An idealized human male image was developed in Greek art that prized a slender, toned, ageless male body with a glorious six pack and a neutral, youthful face without wrinkle and expression. The Venus de Milo or Aphrodite de Milos is an ancient Greek sculpture that was created during the Hellenistic period, sometime between 150 and 125 BC. It is one of the most famous works of ancient Greek sculpture, having been prominently displayed at the Louvre Museum since after this statue was rediscovered on the island of Milaj, Greece, in 1820. The Athena Fella Tree is a type of classical marble statue bearing a helmet. Athena name is from the great Greek city of Athens. She had many attributes from wisdom to just warfare to skill. According to legend, she was born out of the head of her father, Zeus, essentially making his her favorite child. She takes on vastly different roles, from assisting heroes in battle to the role of friend to young woman looking forward to marriage. The Nike of Samothrace is a votive monument originally found on the island of Samothrace, north of the Aegean Sea. It is a masterpiece of Greek sculpture from the Hellenistic era, dating from beginning of the second century BC. It is composed of a statue representing the goddess Nike, Victory, whose head and arms are missing and it's based in the shapes of a ship's bow. The Galleria d'Apollon is an iconic room in the Louvre. It's gorgeous and historical, very significant. Louis XIV constructed the gallery beginning in 1661. The decor of the room revolves around the sun and its movement through space and time. The Sun King Louis XIV associated his first royal gallery with the Sun God Apollo. Construction on the room took over 200 years to complete. The space features 105 works of art from dozens of French artists.
You can also see the collection of the French crown jewels which started in 1532. The Dying Slave is a sculpture by the Italian Renaissance artist Michelangelo, created between 1513 and 1516. It was to serve with another figure, the rebellious slave. In The Dying Slave, Michelangelo is portraying the moment of death he shows us a young man lost in a dreamlike state and acceptance of his release from the struggles of life. The Grand Gallery has been a hot spot in Louvre. Nowadays, visitors come to the Grand Gallery to see the Louvre's extraordinary collection of Italian paintings one of the largest and most impressive of its kind. The Grand Gallery was built at the end of 16th century, after the French Revolution of 1789, it was one of the first parts of the former palace to open to the public once the Louvre became a museum. Today, the Grand Gallery is the very symbol of the museum. The coronation of the Virgin or coronation of Mary is a subject in Christian art. In Italy, in 13th to 15th centuries, the Virgin is generally shown being crowned by her son, Jesus Christ, and surrounded by members of the heavenly hierarchy. And of course, Leonardo da Vinci's famous Mona Lisa. It has painted between 1503 to 1519. The Mona Lisa is a portrait of the wife of a Florentine merchant. The portrait was never delivered to her, and Leonardo kept it with him when he went to work for Francis the King of France. The Mona Lisa's mysterious smile has inspired many writers 
singers and painters. The Wedding Feast at Cana by Paolo Veronese is a representational painting that shows the Bible story of the wedding at Cana, at which Jesus converts water into red wine. So the celebration could continue demonstrates how the new agreement and forgiveness is a happy and joyful one. The Coronation of Napoleon is a painting completed in 1807 by Jacques-Louis David. It shows the coronation of Napoleon at Notre Dame de Paris. It shows all eyes turned towards Napoleon and the crown. He is the central subject of this composition. It marked the representation of the modern empire. The Roman Antiquities is one of the largest and most famous collections of ancient art in the world. It displays pieces from the Mediterranean basin from the Stone Age to the 6th century. The collection spans from the Cycladic, which is Bronze Age in Greek, to the Roman Empire. Thank you.
The term Islamic art refers to the various art forms of the Islamic world. These are represented in the Louvre by a selection of artifacts made over an extensive time period ranging from the rise of Islam in the 7th century to the late 19th century. Geographically, the collection spans three continents from Spain to India via North Africa and Egypt. The Department of Egyptian Antiquities of the Louvre is a department of the Louvre that is responsible for artifacts from the Nile civilizations which date from 4000 BC to the 5th century. The collection has over 50,000 pieces and it's among the world's largest overviews Egyptians life. Includes ancient Egypt the Middle Kingdom, the New Kingdom, Coptic art, and the Roman, Ptolemaic, and Byzantine periods.